guys so for today's video we're going to be using um color grains as our main ingredients so last time i tried brok choy and spinach and it tasted really good with the pasta so today i cook pasta again um and we're just gonna use a bit of different ingredients okay so let's just go over the ingredients really quick and then start making this stew it's gonna take really short time <laughs> to prepare this okay so yeah all right guys so here are the ingredients for this particular stew that we're making so it's very similar to the one we did with the spinach and the brok choy okay so here we have the broth from the fish that i cooked here i have onion half a size of onion and a half scallions okay or spring onion with the roots and the leaves here i have a uh, melon seed ghana we call it akatua or agushi nigerians call it agusi so yeah here we have our brok choy and here we have our um the main ingredients okay which is uh colored greens in here here we have spinach okay I, i'm also going to be using a lot of spinach so yeah i think my pot is probably like small for this but let's just see how it goes i'm also going to be adding some hot powdered pepper and um a pinch of salt that's all i'm going to be using to make this food so let's get started and of course i'm going to be adding some canola oil as my you know source of oil let me show you guys the fish before we actually start making this all right guys so this is whitening that i just cut into little pieces i added audible to it and i also added hot um grounded pepper so i'm basically trying to steam it a little bit because that's what i'm going to be using for this particular stew okay this is how my fish is actually looking like um i kind of stir at it to make it you know break down into little pieces that's how i want to see it in this stew okay guys so i added the oil let's just test to see if the oil is hot okay i think it's hot enough for me to add the onions okay so i'm gonna go ahead and add the onions So yeah, the onion is actually cooking really well. And guys, if you've been watching my video, you know the history of this wing thing. I don't want to throw it out, okay? So yeah, the onion is actually not bad. It's cooking well. I don't want it to get brown or anything. I want to, you know, like, I just want it to be like a bit cooked, not like fried or anything. So what I'm going to do now is that, sorry guys. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to add my agusi here, okay? Very straightforward email. <laughs> I'm going to add my agusi and I'll try to, you know, not like really stare at it, but try to make it move in the middle and stuff like that. Okay. And now leave it for it to just do its own thing. And once I come back and it looks like it's a bunch of eggs, you know, it looks like fine eggs. I don't know how to explain that. You guys will see. <laughs> when it's done cooking, you guys will see how it will look like. Okay. And then we'll add the, um, pepper and then we will add our fish and we just strain our veggies it's a very easy recipe all right guys so this is how i want it to look like you see how the melon seeds are like basically like fried and it looks like little like scrambled eggs this is the look that I was going for so yeah i got it <laughs> so now the next thing i'm going to do is to add the fish okay this is perfect yo this is perfect so if you're using melon seeds or akatoa or agusi you know to make your spinach stew and you want it to make lumps or look like um what you call it scrambled eggs just use this method and it will get it to fry just don't be staring at it at the beginning let it start you know frying on its own and it will look like this so the next thing to do is to add the fish okay and then once i add the fish i'm going to wait for a minute and then add the spinach actually no i, I will add the fish and i'll add the pepper okay so once um that stays in the pot for like a minute and cook well I'm going to go ahead and add the spinach and then we will just, you know, add the rest of the ingredients little by little. Alright, so I also went ahead to add the fish um, stock to it, okay, and this is how it's looking like. So this fish, the way I made this fish, it kind of reminds me of um, tuna, okay, but I still have some that are, you know, big chunks, okay. And if you are going to feed this to a family and you have kids, you see, something like this, you don't want, you don't want it in. You have to make sure that you take it out but it's just me that's gonna eat see some fish some of the fishes are like huge some of them are just little chunks so yeah i've added it so now yeah let's wait for a minute and then i'm gonna go ahead and add the spinach and add the rest of the ingredients little by little 
Guys, right, so after adding a bit of all the greens, this is how our steel is looking like. It's, it looks really good. So yeah, you guys might wonder why didn't this girl add tomatoes this time? Honestly, when I went to the store, I forgot tomatoes, okay? But <laughs> anyways, it's good. This recipe is also good, you know. I added a pinch of salt to it. But I think I need to add a bit of nutmeg, okay? Like you guys, I love my nutmeg and my curry powder. I didn't add any to it and even though this thing tastes good I'm like missing that that taste that flavor so yeah I'm just gonna add a little bit of that and just let it stay here for like a minute and then I'm gonna turn off this too so yeah perfect this is how it's looking like it looks really really good yummy to me it's perfect for yams or plantains you know if you want rice you know if you like me even pasta okay i can eat anything with anything that's me okay so yeah it looks really good it tastes really good and i really like this recipe as well so if you guys want you can go ahead and try this recipe and when you do please let me know in the comment section if you actually like it okay so yeah this is it for this video i love them as always god loves you more and i hope to see you guys on my next video and if you haven't already subscribed to this channel please subscribe to this channel whenever i cook you know anything i have not uploaded yet any recipes you know i do share it with you guys so yeah just let's grow together okay and don't forget to visit my amazon and st shop i'm going to leave the link in the description section i'm also going to pin a comment so yeah thank you all for watching this video and see you guys on my next one i love you all as always and god loves you even more bye